Welcome ladies and gentlemen, thanks for clicking on the video. I've just got this uh, new build that I want to show to you guys. I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's uh, a lot different from what I uh, have been using from before in my other videos, but it, I'm having so much fun with it. I mean, granted, it is uh, relying heavily on totems, and which as you guys know, they die in two seconds to anyone. But uh, just the utility of them is really strong, and especially if you're going to be doing arenas, regardless of if, if it's twos or threes. Um, shamans are really more all about utility and staying alive rather than dealing damage because as much as I'd like to think and as much as I've tried to make it happen, dealing damage, like heavy damage as an enhanced shaman is just not gonna happen. Uh, the biggest Ellie Blast crit I've ever gotten is like, what, 40K if that, something like that. I mean, f the only time I ever passed over that is when I was in Temple Cop Mogu with with an orb and hitting somebody with an orb with an unleashed lightning bolt so it's it's just not gonna happen but uh, this is what it is and I'm gonna explain a little bit now I've had people uh, tell me that ancestral swiftness is better than echo of elements and I can agree but in certain situations now ancestral swiftness the passive that it gives you the 5% haste and attack speed is really really good um, but it's only good in um, I would say maybe threes because twos you you're gonna want to be able to spam when you can especially when you you need those deeps because like say they get really low and you pop ascendance let's be honest ascendance doesn't do all that much damage but if you have an echo ready and you pop ascendance and there's two wind strikes one after another that's pretty strong now um just the being able to get like say you have a full maelstrom and you have ancestral swiftness ready to go you could heal somebody and then do another heal i mean granted it's not going to be 50 percent stronger because of the buff that maelstrom gives but it will be an it'll be two instant heals that they can give and like i said the passive itself is really strong because right now my haste is at 9.44 now if both of my 1000 haste procs from those and i unleash my attack speed will easily go like just below under a second and my haste is really really high like I hit really really fast and it's just it's amazing I mean again it's not huge numbers but it's it's really really fast um, the next talent I have tried out is ancestral guidance now most players usually just kill all the totems regardless so this is almost non-existent you put down the healing stream it'll get maybe one two ticks off before it's taken down so it's just better to have this I mean compared to nature's vigil it's on a longer cooldown it doesn't last nearly as long and it heals for less so I don't, I don't really see where that makes sense because druids hit a lot harder but it can heal you and other people um it doesn't uh split it or divide it up or anything it heals everybody at the same time so if you're doing a threes and you pop this it's not gonna heal a lot but it'll, at bare minimum if you're hitting something for the full 10 seconds it'll make their health like stop moving if not go up so it's just better in my opinion for the the long haul now the next talent is primal ellie um mainly because let's be honest if you're being focused you're never going to get an ellie blast off it's all going to be going into healing surges and also because the utility of them is pretty good um it also gives an actual use to uh earth totem earth ellie totem because before there's literally no point putting it down it does like just as much damage as a searing totem so whatever uh it's just when you summon the earth totem it comes out with a stun let's see it's got a four second stun on a 40 second cooldown and you can use it twice in its duration. So it comes out, does that, pulverize four seconds. And then after that, again, he doesn't do crazy amounts of damage. So what you can do is cast reinforce on yourself. He does have to channel it, but doing that, you make him come out and do the sun. And it can, again, it can be on healers. It can be on the person that you're on, get a little peel for yourself or something. And then start casting this. It reduces all damage by 20% and increases healing done by 10%. That's pretty huge. Again, if you do that and you couple it with Sham Rage, regardless if you're lifting it to do 60%, that's a big damage decrease. So 10% from Trinkets, 10% from Lightning Shield, 20% from this, and 30%, 30 to 60% from Sham Rage, you can take a lot less damage while getting increased heals. And again, it's two stuns. So, in his full duration, and you can just go back to casting that. The utility is just really good. I mean, he's probably not going to last all that long because they're going to kill it, but... For the at least for the four second stun it's nice to have now with the fire ellie he deals a lot of damage and, and can do something similar to this and it, i believe it increases your damage by five percent which isn't big at all but uh, again the fire ellie is a bit more there for damage and uh, that's good and all but it's I, i'm gonna use the cd for the uh, storm ellie 
Now, this is something I've been using also. Uh, say you're trying to chase somebody down and a mage is on you. you. Poly, kick it, poly, ground it, poly, and he knocks him up. You uh, cast Gale Force, which will knock somebody in the air, and that's basically another knock. Now, you can use it for um, healers also as an extra CC because it does technically count as a stun for like two seconds, one and a half seconds or so because they're in the air, unless they're channeling something like Penance and they glyphed it. Um, something I will say though that is this healing that he's doing is divided so like if there's three people it's not gonna heal everybody for uh, 900 it's gonna heal everybody for like a little bit amount which is which is good but again mainly it's for the gale force and he, uh, it, they're both on a 40 second cooldown so again he can cast it twice in his duration boom and uh, if you macro it correctly he can he'll just use it off cooldown like uh, my earth Alley does and again, the utility of that is just awesome. Also, you run really fast around him. <laughs> so if you want to, you can make him follow you. And you can just get out of there. It's awesome. And yeah, the last one is just Storm Alley. Um, again, it's probably just going to get killed in two seconds. But the he if he gets a couple casts off, the healing is really nice. As well as the knock-up. The knock-up is awesome. So thanks for listening to me. I hope you learned a little something. I hope you got maybe an idea in your head of something you can use. And I hope it helped. Enjoy the arenas, guys. Thanks for watching. Something I forgot to mention is saying that Elemental Fusion is also good to go if that's your play style. If you can manage it well, then that's good. Uh, Liquid Magma is not good because it may somebody knock somebody out of the CC. It's way too unpredictable, in my opinion. Fuck. I'm with the Shaman and I need that buff. Why am I so fucking lagged? Huh. <laughs> you hit me. I'm lagged. Okay, after have to reopen my while after this. Okay, I'm gonna hodge this guy and then go ham. I, I'm so framey. He's in this. Hodge him. Poly. I'm going ham, kind of. Grounded it! Okay, I'll give you poly next. I don't have the macro, but I'll just fucking work on you. I'm hexing the priest. I might just kill him with that. Okay, block. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, I'm killing this guy now. He triggered. Kicked him! Yeah. Fear, trink. I blocked down. Good. I'm randomly killing this guy. Oh, he's immune. That counts as a spell? Okay, stay on that mage, stay on that mage. Oh, oh, you win this. I'll oh, hide your mouth. Combustion. He's right oh. here. Hodge. Oh, on the other guy. With the full extent of my dick. Ah! Oh, he's Got me. it. <laughs> Alright, I have to. Just pop the sentence and hit him from range. Here. Yeah, close my wow in a second. Didn't see it coming. I just randomly do it. <laughs> I didn't click go. I didn't change. I, I don't have sex. I, I, I'm gonna sack you, it's just gonna be slow. I don't have macros for you yet. I'll make them in a second. Alright, let's kill this guy. That's actually Predator quite one. Go as hard as you can. Train range. It's actually too late. Should just die here. Breathing trap. Heart? Yeah. Shadow mail. He, he melded. Okay. Thank you. Kicked him on a seal. Nice. I gave you freedom. Actually, I didn't. I thought I did. You just out of my. I just run. Nah, no, I'm blinded. Master's call. Yeah. Nice master's call, bro. Wow, that's so much more useful. Seeing it on the thing. Training. Just in like. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go Destiny and swap on. Training. This guy has a hundred thousand gold. Must get in combat. Eh. Frig over here! I'm a shaman! Where are you running from? Oh, get off me, bitch. Alright, let's pop down everything on me. Heal me a little bit. I'm fine. I'm gonna stop the rope. Titan's real. Shadow Mel. The Shadow Mel did right on top of me, but I can't get it. Sprint. He didn't drink it. Get the fuck off me, holy shit. He's not even on stun here. I'm gonna hodge him. I don't think- No, my Trinity. guy didn't get him. I freaking stunned his rope, dude. I'm about to- There, I stunned the rope. Oh, yeah, he's dead. He's actually dead. I just- I don't know. Evasion, like, evasion down. Yeah, buddy. Oh. 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 They might have tanked. That's fine. I'm, I'm actually gonna run in and hodge this guy. Oh, I know you wanna do the same, bitch. Hodge him. Go in. Trinity. He's gonna make him bubble here. Right now. Oh. I'm hitting this guy a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna force the turret. I'm just gonna actually. Freedom. 
the turret. Force the turret. Follow down. Take him. Can't take him. The turret's down. I'll just kill the rat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's dead. I, I forced it. Oh my gosh, yeah, holy crap.